Many firms are far from ready to benefit from digitalization because they're mainly focused on achieving greater efficiency rather than pursuing a growth agenda. This imbalance is because of the difficulties in identifying profitable configurations of competencies, assets, and data, then orchestrating them in an agile organization. Most CEOs are preoccupied with understanding how the digital revolution is affecting their current model despite the ongoing paradigm shift from an industrial to a more digital economy, resulting in loss of profit for even the largest firms. For example, H&M, the world's second largest clothing retail firm, sees digitalization opportunities much later than their main competitors, resulting in its brick-and-mortar business model coming under threat. Despite major investment in digital channels and reformulation, investors are worried they'll never be able to regain their previous growth. A common mistake is searching for growth in adjacent areas that have little overlap with the current business, rather than using digitalization to improve existing business. Successful firms start with their customers' needs and what will provide customer advantage. Driving growth is a different game than using digitalization to achieve greater efficiency and is also more difficult. Business leaders must promote the need for digital transformation and ensure that everyone works towards this common goal. Less successful firms remain isolated, implementing only cross-functional programs with no identifiable ownership. They often lack support from senior management in allocating money and resources. Whereas, the most successful firms have decentralized their digital transformation with flexible internal processes and cultures that encourage learning from mistakes. They have coordinated cross-organizational teams with clear agendas for where the firm is heading. Thus, digital transformation for firms is about collective ability. To learn more, read Strategies for Digitalization in Manufacturing Firms by Joachim Bjorkdahl in California Management Review, Volume 62, Issue 4.